Hello there, guys. It's Crazy Eskimo 1212 here. Um, a while ago, I did a review of my HP G60 laptop, and um, it was running Vista. And I recently upgraded to Windows 7, so I wanted to give you guys a look at how much better it is now. Um, for those of you watching for the first time, I'll go over a little bit the uh, hardware, and uh, that'll be that. Uh, hang on. Alright, here we go. So, here's the laptop itself. Uh, it's a 15.6 inch screen. It has the glossy front. The middle HP symbol does not glow, unfortunately. Um, over here on the side we have some ports. We have the power port, VGA, Ethernet, I think. It might be. I don't know. Uh, this is HDMI. USB port. I have my little transceiver in there for my ARC mouse. And a 5-in-1 card reader. Over on the back, we've got nothing. Over here, we have a Kensington lock, another telephone, Ethernet port, whatever. Two more USBs, and a CD-DVD writer and reader. On the front, we've got three little indicator lights, one for charging, one for power, and one for disk usage. And then we have the microphone and headset jacks. So that's it from there. Um, when we open up the laptop, we have the touchpad, two separate clicky buttons, a scroller bar, full numeric keypad, we have the power button and the wireless button. It does come with a built-in webcam for $25 extra. Um, that's about it on the keyboard. It's pretty easy to type on once you get used to it. Um, I'll do a little typing demonstration. And um, I'm just going to start it up real quick for you guys, just so you can see um, how fast it is with Windows 7. And I'm clicking it now. Sorry, it's so damn. There we go. That's full brightness right there. There's two separate accounts. Let me log in real quick. And there it is. All ready to go. So much faster than it used to be. Alright, now for the second half, I'm going to go over some of the software. Alright. So I don't know how well the microphone is going to work. It didn't work too well last time, but I'm going to try it. Um, I'm just going to go over some real quick things. First of all, I'll show you the specs. It has a Intel Centrino. Well, the sticker says Centrino, but this is Core 2 Duo. 2.2 uh, gigahertz. 3 gigs of RAM, and it's 64-bit. It's running Windows 7 Home Premium. So, um, I'm just going to open up a bunch of stuff here, see how fast it is. This is where I really, really would have loved to have 4 gigs of RAM, because it does slow down a little bit. But compared to Vista, it's much faster. Go to Safari here real quick. There we go. Um, 
just to show you, uh, this laptop is actually still for sale. You can go on the web HP website. Um, not much has changed. Alright, so it starts at four sixty four ninety nine. Um it's pretty much all the same. It doesn't have the I three or I five or processors, it still has the uh Core Two Duo, I believe. Yeah, it has all these processors. Um also if you'll notice I am using uh Safari five. And um, I've noticed a huge improvement in speed over Safari 4. Um, one of the cooler features is they brought back the loading bar up here, which I love. And another thing is, um, say you're on the Wall Street Journal, or we're anywhere really, it works with pretty much everywhere, I've tried it out. And um, you're going to read an article, and there's all this, all these banners over here, all this sort of things, you go up here and you click on the reader button, and up flies this little thing, it includes all the pictures, it has all the text, um, you can scroll, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can email it, you can print it, and you can close out of it. So I found that really useful. Um, other than that, I really don't know what else to show you with the software. Um, it does still have the webcam recording software, which launches a lot faster than when it was on Vista. Um, so yeah, here's where you have basically your photo, t photo booth type of a program. All sorts of different level effects. So, um, that's about it, I think. So, go ahead and comment, subscribe, and leave me comments. Uh, did I already say that? Give me a thumbs up. That's a new feature on YouTube. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.